So, uh, um, so moving on from this kind of like hardware side of things, let's talk about uh, easy content creation. I think it's, it's really interesting that there's all these new tools coming out to make games. So some have been around for a long time, right? So like Unity and Unreal has been around for a while. Um, kind of like things like Scratch have been around for uh, um, teaching kids how to program. In the middle there we have these sort of tools that um, make game making really easy. Um, if you go and look at Game Maker, which is um, probably 10 years old now, maybe more, um, started out as like a kind of a joke kind of application that kids could use to make little tiny games. But now there are professional level games that you download off Steam that are built in Game Maker. Uh, we run the Serious Game Showcase and Challenge, and we've had Game Maker games turned in, and then they've placed, been finalists. Um, there's applications like Stencil, which leverage Scratch as a programming language and lets you uh, output Flash content. Game Salad, which is, makes um, building iPhone games really simple. Um, just looking at that one, it has like a drag and drop code editor, um, simple actor-based level editing, and just outputs things for iOS and HTML5. So um, if you were to um, go home tonight and say, I am going to make a game and went and download a game salad for free. Um, you could have a game running by morning. I mean, I built my first game in game salad in four hours. I think if you didn't have any experience with these kind of things before, you could probably do it in a day. Like, um, Stencil, like I said, leverages Scratch. Scratch is uh, that top image there. It's really a block building programming language. So you, you drag the blocks together and you get actual code that comes out of it. It outputs Flash. It, um, it has like an out asset and script sharing platform. Um, it's multi-platform, so you can output applications for the desktop, for Flash, for uh, iOS. Um, they're working on an HTML5 version. And you can add your own code. So if you don't like the blocks, or you don't have a block for something you want to do, you can go in and edit the actual code, and uh, you could edit the code and add um, score code to it if you wanted to. So it's it's straight up ActionScript. You could, uh, I mean, we have applications in ActionScript that work with 